I am back with another tutorial. I did this video specifically to show you all how I make one twist set last anywhere from a usually I do at least three days to a week and a half to two weeks. Once I start getting into two weeks my scalp gets gross and it's not a good idea. So two weeks is about the time that's the top of my time that I can typically wear a style because my hair just has to be washed. So this is actually day I did the twist Thursday evening and this is now Sunday afternoon. I could have made it last longer but I wasn't didn't really want to because I had something else I was planning on doing to my hair over this weekend also but we'll see if that happens. This I can probably get away with a few more days but I don't know. The point is you can make a twist that lasts anywhere from a few days to two weeks. And like I said this is the fourth day. And if you stay tuned, I will show you the different steps in my process of setting your twist up for success. Stay tuned. What I am doing now is applying Cream of Nature's Leave-In Conditioner. It's Lemongrass and Rosemary. I am um, really liking this conditioner. I do have freshly washed hair. I did shampoo in condition with um conditioned with hello hydration by herbal essence and i am trying out this sample that i received from my swag bag at international natural hair meetup day this is isabella's own twist cream so i am just seeing how this product works the smell is okay it's pretty thick and that it feels kind of conditioner like and it says on the packet it's supposed to condition braids locks or twists so yeah so put that on top of my leave-in and I'm sealing in my moisture with coconut oil as you can see I've already started the back a medium sized two strand twist and finishing them up with the perm rod. And I'm really wanting this to be a quick style so I'm doing it medium size plus I just like medium sized twists anyway. And the perm rods we'll see what kind of flair those add. I've never done the twist with the rods at the end or any kind of thing other than a all the way to the end so let's see how differently that turns out okay let's, since that's so thick I'm going to do a flat twist on the two sides where my edges are still really short I'm going to keep it from puffing up too much If it's feeling a little dry, I'm just adding a little more coconut oil. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and finish this up. And then I'll come back to you actually in the morning. And you'll be able to see the results I get.
So I just removed all the twists and this is the second day. Well, this would be day two. It's the evening of the next day. But since I'm going somewhere tonight, I went ahead and took the twist out. But this was what your twist should do on day two. And we'll see how long we can make this one twist set last. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I have separated, I guess, the majority of the twists kind of in a hurry. So, um, looks like I've gotten to most of them. If not, it's okay. I, um, still have pretty good definition with the twists. They still feel kind of firm, but aren't crunchy. So, that's good. I'm going to just pin that back out of my eye. And I'll do the same over here. And I'm good to go. Thanks for watching.